Hi there everyone, Anne here and welcome back to my channel, Facing 50. Gosh, you know, I'm feeling so optimistic today. The sun is shining, we're heading out of lockdown, we're actually able to go out and go to shops and go into a restaurant and it's just, it's just wonderful. I don't know why I'm wearing black today, it's, um, yeah, it's not really appropriate for the beautiful sunny day that is outside, but anyway. Um, hopefully the last time on these videos I will mention the lockdown word but I did do a video last week of my top lockdown skincare heroes for the body and at the time I did that I also promised a uh, lockdown skincare heroes for the face video so here it is. Um, as I've said on my channel all the way through I have used hundreds probably thousands of different products over the year I've years I've bought into every bit of hype every hot product that was going I've tried everything across the range and so what I'm bringing to you here is really my experience of stuff that I've tried that actually works does what it says um, is worth the money and is not a massive faff to actually use so in terms of daily skincare routine, now it did actually get a little bit more complex during lockdown. I started adding in lots of face oils, which I'm not necessarily sure that I'll continue with ongoing, but you know, stuck at home, I kind of had the time and um, felt inclined to, to give it a go. But relatively simple daytime routine for me is at night, I start with the night before, um, cleanse, take off all my makeup with one of two cleansers. My absolute all-time favorite is the Liz Earl um, hot cloth cleansing um, product. It comes in a tube, it retails for around about 20 pounds. Um, some of the tube just makes it feel really hygienic as opposed to the next product I'm gonna introduce you to, which works great, but you have to kind of stick your fingers in it. Um, so the Liz Earl face cleansing regime it's called but basically um, it's just a cream you rub it between your hands put it over your face leave it for a little bit maybe a, a half a minute or so while you brush your teeth let it soak and soak into the skin and melt all the kind of makeup and grime and so on and then they give you a cloth warm cloth wipe it off um, after that, at night, I then apply the Beauty Pie Uber Youth Super, Super Serum with Hydrating Marine Complex and Bio Nymph. That can't be right. Bio Nymph pe Peptides. Anyway, who knew? Um, okay, so this is um, Uber Youth, it's called. I, I've been using this for a little while. It's very nice, it's not drying. Um, I'm still doing the research on a really, really fabulous retinol product. So uh, I've got some from Beauty Pie on order and I will bring a review to, of them to you over the next few weeks because I've tried lots and um, I, I'm struggling really to find that sweet spot of one that really feels like it's actually working but doesn't dry the skin too much. So uh, watch this space over the next couple of weeks and I'll do a retinol specific um, blog. But at night time, I either put that on, followed by the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This is a kind of a multi-active um, moisturizing cream, which I use day and night. And that's really nice, actually. And sometimes that's all I will do. If I want to put a, a kind of a treatment on overnight, there are a number of products that I really, really like. The first one is the Clarins Blue Orchid Treatment Oil. Now, I've used this on and off over the years, um, only off because I was off being unfaithful with another product somewhere else. But I keep coming back to this product and it's really, really nice. I think it retails... Um, price wise I don't have the price here but it's on the Clarins website um, really really nice a few drops of that in your hand and all over the face is very nice and not forgetting the eye and neck area um, 
what I'm using and have been using for the past couple of months that I find really, really nice, non-irritating, uh, moisturizing, is the Dermalogica Intensive Eye Repair. Now, I'm ashamed to show you this tube because the, the labeling is all worn off it because I use it so often, but that's really, really nice as, as a, an eye cream. Um, I was looking for the price to see if I'd written it down here. Um, and finally, the neck. Now, I did a video uh, last week on neck creams, and the one that I rave about is the Pry, P-R-A-I, not ridiculously expensive. I have tried the Reve, uh, and I used that really for about three months. I gave it a really, really good go. It was nice, but it didn't deliver anything fabulous in my view, and it was around £100 a pop. So, um, the Pry PRAI one, I really like. That said, I recently ordered, just to try it, because I'd read so, so many fabulous reviews of it, Neostrata Firming, Triple Firming Neck Cream. I mean, triple firming. How fabulous does that sound? Anyway, I have been trying it for the past, since Saturday, so tomorrow it'll be a week's worth of trying. What I can say in its favor is a number of things. It really soaks in beautifully. It has a pump dispenser, which I'm always a fan of because it doesn't mean that you're overusing product and dispensing more than you need. It retails for about uh, 40 pounds, I believe, on Look Fantastic, Feel Unique. And it, yeah, it's very, very nice. It, it soaks in um, maybe slightly better, I don't know. I haven't. The jury's out a little bit for me on this. There's nothing about this product that I don't like. I need to use it a little bit longer to say to you, definitely go for this over and above the PRAI one, the Pry one. One thing I would say though that I have found over the years is that alternating products from time to time is actually a good thing to do. I find that my skin tends to get very used to something and after about three or four months, I quite like to mix it up and put something else on and then if I want to go back to, to the old product. So, daytime skincare routine. So that would be my night. Um, a good cleanse, uh, the Uber Youth Serum from Beauty Pie, to be replaced, I suspect, very soon with a retinol product. And then on top of it, the Protini Polypeptide Cream. There are nights, however, two or three nights a week um, for me, when I use the Sarah Chapman Skin Assist Overnight Facial. Now, I wasn't really overwhelmingly positive about the body cream, the body overnight um, treatment oil, I should say. And the reason for that was that I didn't see any fabulously incredible results and the smell for me was totally overwhelming. That said, a lot of the reviews of the product on many, many sites um, have people saying, I love the smell of it. And it's one of the reasons I use it. So it's very, very, you know, smell scent is very much a kind of a personal preference. The face oil, however, I do really like. Interestingly, it has the same smell as the body oil. But because it's a smaller surface area and it soaks in very quickly, the scent seems to dissipate quite quickly and it's um, it's actually quite pleasant. It's very nice. Um, this one, uh, I haven't written down the, the price of that one. Well, I should bring these prices to you actually and put them in the bottom. Um, but it's it's nice, very, very nice. I, it, you know, I, I would recommend that two or three times a week uh, without fail. And another nighttime product that I'm just about to test and ordered just to arrive, arrive the other day was the Kate Cuticles Resurfacing Overnight Peel. I have really high hopes for this. So I'm going to start trying it tonight. I don't think this is something you need for, to use for 30 days before you can kind of give a considered review on it. So I'll be bringing you that over the weekend or the start of next week. Daytime skincare regime. I don't always, I have to say, do a very, very deep cleanse in the morning. But what I do is either a hot muslin cloth and just wipe that over my face in the morning and use quite often, actually, these Dr. Dennis Gross 
daily peel product. Now, the extra strength daily peel, I wouldn't use more than two or three times a week, but they do a regular strength one, which in the morning, if you're pushed for time, is really nice. Just It comes in two sachets. One is the product itself, the kind of the acid that can just takes off any sort of surface debris and so on. Two minutes you leave it on for no longer and then rub over the sachet number two, which is the neutralizing um, equivalent of the acid product. Um, I use the regular one actually most mornings, the extra strength daily peel two or three times a week and it is very nice, you leave it on for two minutes. So after a quick cleanse in the morning, um, routine is the Dermalogica eye cream that I mentioned earlier on, just to remind you of that, it's the intensive eye repair, really, really nice. Um, followed by this Drunk Elephant B Hydra Serum. Now, uh, sorry, my lighting is not great, so you probably, uh, possibly can't see the labeling on that. Um, but gosh, that's actually terrible, that lighting. Sorry about that, folks. But it's the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum with pineapple ceramide and pro-vitamin B5. I absolutely love this and have replaced hyaluronic acid as a serum with this. Now, I've done quite a bit of, of, sort of research on this. Hyaluronic acid, as I mentioned on one of my blogs, on my videos last week, is a sugar molecule that attracts moisture um, with the idea of then plumping out your skin and giving it a more youthful appearance. Drunk Elephant State on their website, and remember this is part of their marketing blurb, so take it as you wish, but they state that the hyaluronic acid molecule is too large to penetrate the surface of the skin. Now, I have to do some more research on this, but they use that as an argument to state that the bee hydra and pineapple ceramide that they use in this product is five times more hydrating than hyaluronic acid. Personally, I think it comes down to personal preference. And for me, this is definitely a preferred personal product that's better in terms of lighting. Okay, so bee hydra intensive hydration serum. Highly recommend this. Two or three pumps all over the face and neck, followed by on the face. Again, the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. It's got nine peptides in it. Um, I must do some research on what peptides are. But anyway, um, it improves the texture and tone of the skin. And I can heartily recommend these two together. This is a serum after cleansing this as a moisturizer um really really nice products drunk elephant uh, there are some products in the range i'm not crazy about these ones are really good it has all of the vegan cruelty free credentials that uh we tend to look for more and more all of us really in the products that we use um certainly uh, the cruelty free is is kind of one for me so that's it um soft cleanse uh, with either really with some, one of these Dennis Gross wipes I think is absolutely fabulous the daily one the extra strength daily the extra strength maybe two or three times a week followed by the serum followed by the drunk elephant moisturizer the Dermalogica eye cream I think is fabulous and of course a little bit on the neck and the Neostrata is the one that I would recommend at the moment um that's it for now. I am going to bring you a couple of other videos shortly. One, I want to do a review for you on the Kate Suticles Resurfacing Overnight Peel. I'll do that over the weekend. Um, and I also want to do, uh, actually I might as well just do this bit now in fact. Um, after cleansing in the morning, before putting on any tinted moisturizer, foundation, whatever it is you choose to put on your face, or if you choose to put nothing on your face, um, SPF, absolutely critical. For those of us who are in our 50s now, there is damage done that we will struggle to repair, quite frankly, over time. Uh, but what we can do is certainly prevent any future damage. 
I've done quite a lot of research on SPFs and the problem with a lot of them is that they're quite chalky um, on, the, on the skin and on the face and if you put makeup on after them it tends to kind of break up that makeup and give it a slightly unappealing mattified uh, slightly kind of um, think Elizabeth the first type um, you know that kind of white mask that she used to have so the one that I would recommend is ultra violet SPF 50 queen screen lightweight skin screen UVA and UVB broad spectrum 50 mils uh, really really nice this and I put it on my face and my neck and decollete and also on the back of my hands because as we are all aware the back of our hands is where aging shows first um, so I use the SPF this SPF 50 on the back of the hands followed by the beauty pie retinol hand cream um, and then applying that regularly throughout the day so that's it folks um i am going to do as i said a video on the resurfacing and i think next week i might have a look at some uh makeup looks for in our 50s i have a fabulous tip for the dark circles under under our eyes i mean i still have them you can see through the glasses uh, but i have got a really really nice tip for uh lightening these up followed by concealing them that's quick easy and hurrah not too expensive okay everyone have a great weekend um i'll speak to you soon please keep subscribing to my channel if you like what you hear like it send me comments anything you want to talk about about facing 50 um, and i'll do a video on it so please please uh keep subscribing and thanks very much see you soon bye for now